in this lecture we are going to learn about maximum flow and flow networks okay so this is an interesting topic and here we will see what it means so let's take a very common example you are the owner of a oil company okay so you are the prestigious owner of a very big oil company and your work is that you have a source and you have a destination city okay and you have to send your oil through pipelines through the destination city okay there is a network of pipelines and it, they all have some capacity that okay they can carry that much of gallons per day or per liter liters per day okay so that they have some maximum capacity so given that so you are the owner you are the manager so you are asked that okay please tell us in which of the pipelines i should put how much gallon of oil so that i can pump maximum amount of oil to the destination city okay so this is the maximum flow network okay so this is a graph a network where you have pipelines each of the edges okay the pipeline have some capacity that okay this edge or this pipeline between v1 and v3 so it can carry maximum of 24 million gallons per day or anything you take okay 24 gallons also per day this v2 to v1 this pipeline can carry only 8 gallons per day so like that so this is the meaning so you have a capacity that in this direction from v1 to v3 you can take only maximum of 24 gallons okay per day and then you have a flow okay so this is the case you are given this now you have to find that okay how much should i allow okay so here from s to v1 maximum you can put is 32 gallons per day not more than that because this is the maximum capacity okay so let's see so you designed you waited you worked for an hour then you came up with a very good idea that okay I will put 22 gallons per day in pipeline from S to V1. Okay, then 24 gallons per day from V1 to V3. And similarly from S to V2, you will put 16 gallons per day from S to V2. So this what happens is that you see that we are now this is a flow so now actually the oil is flowing in the pipeline and the capacity so your pipeline was this wide but you are pushing maximum you can push this whole thing you can fill but i am saying that okay we have filled 22 gallons out of those 32 gallons okay so these are now the flows 22 gallons out of 32 gallons are flowing through this 24 is flowing here then you see okay suddenly how does this flow increase okay so the flow increases because two pipelines one from v2 to v1 another from s to v1 they are all coming and they are getting summed up at v1 and only outlet is that from v1 to v3 so it gets summed up okay now from let's see from what happens we have let's see at v4 what is happening so 22 gallons are coming here 14 is going to this from v4 to v3 and 8 is going 8 by 8 is going from v4 to t okay so this way now the flows is happening and we see that from s we are pumping out 22 plus 16 so it's 32 38 gallons per day we are pumping out and if you see here also at t we are getting that 38 gallons okay so this is the flow network that we are allowing flow from source to destination okay so i hope you understand this and that is the meaning f u to v means the flow actually that is going out from u to v and capacity means the maximum capacity that it can carry okay so this is the meaning of a flow network of course as a manager you will want that you pump out maximum oil so that you get maximum benefit okay so in this network we will try to find what is the maximum flow that we can push through in this network.
so one simple example so you are given this graph and you have to find the maximum how much maximum we can make a flow from source to destination the source is represented as s and the destination as t okay so how to solve it so now as any algorithm problem let's try to think and put it in words okay how will we solve it so one thing that might come is that okay let's choose some path it has to be some path from source to the destination and then only you have to make flow there okay so let's choose a path from s to t so for example in this graph i have a path i'm thinking of path from s to t let's see one path i get s b d t okay so this is the path i will go from s to b b to d and d to t and now about how much i can pump through this path s to b has capacity 2 b to d has 2 and d to t has 3 okay so this is a broader pipe but what happens is in this whole path s to b b d is the they are the bottleneck path even though this can carry 3 gallons per day but because these two the s has to pump through these so then the minimum among all will be the bottleneck and you can choose only that amount so this is simple so you have something like this pipes going on some pipe is very thick okay and some pipe is so thick pipeline but what happens is this very small capacity this is the bottleneck if you are the source here is the destination this is the only maximum you can make the flow so even though this was a very big pipeline very broad maximum you can put across from s to d is this small pipelines capacity so that what's happened here s to b is b to d d to t so we minimum among them is two so that will be the flow that will be added okay so this is the bottleneck flow next what happens so i'm done with this okay so let's try to see this thing so choose the path so initially we chose s b d t and add we added this to the flow okay and then what happens we still try to search okay is there any other path left one path i have used there might be many paths because this is the graph i can reach from s to t why are many paths so now what i do i remove this part okay s to b is gone i have used hold the capacity i cannot make any more flow b to d is also gone but d to t still i have one gallon per day left so i can use that and so these two edges are gone now is there any more path in this we see that okay this one s to a a to c c to t there is a path and what we do we use it okay and again the bottleneck edge is 2 c to t even though they have a capacity of 3 because is the pipe line has to pass through that ct so we will use a maximum flow will be two through this path okay so we have again added a flow of two now what happens now next again we make the residual or leftover graph so s to a now we have capacity of one a to c capacity of one c to t we have used everything no nothing left here so this is the graph now now what we can do is that again we will try to see is there any path left okay okay so we see s to a a to d and d to t okay so this path is still there bottleneck capacity is one so now you see after this taking that capacity one out we have this graph the leftover graph and now you see so we had total capacity till now 2 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 5 we have used in this graph now we have no path left from s to t so our algorithm will end and we have got this because no path is left now and little bit to be more in terms of the max flow algorithm these graphs whatever is the leftover graph i was calling this is known as residual graph okay residual graph in fact there is more in this but this is the basic idea about re residual graph we find the 
paths we augment in our flow and whatever graph is left that is residual graph it has some more meaning which we will see just from now and these paths which we choose are called the augmenting path okay so now this is done but a few points to note so we were selecting path randomly okay so whatever path we got so we chose it so will it always work so now let's choose another path okay so we will have a randomization and we choose new path start again so now we choose the first path SADT okay so we chose that path and we see that it's beautiful we have got this S to A, A to D, D to T so the bottleneck capacity itself is 3 very good what a path last time it was only we saw it was 2, 2 and 1 now in the first path itself I am getting 3 wow but what is the leftover graph 3 is gone completely 3 out of this is gone this is D to T is gone is there any path left oh so there is no path left here s to a i cannot go s to b i can go b to d is the only path from d there is no path to t so there is no path from s to t so your flow is just three so don't be greedy because greedy algorithm doesn't always work you thought that first time you got a very high capacity path so you are happy but this ends here okay no more path so the problem is how to find path and how to make this algorithm correct okay so that it works always in finding the path okay so this was an introduction for max flow algorithm so we will just look at the definitions so first one is the augmenting path okay so augmenting path are the paths that we were selecting so like initially we selected here SADT so this is an augmenting path the bottleneck capacity capacity 3 is the augmenting flow okay whatever is left that graph is known as residual graph but residual graph we add more to make this algorithm correct okay